He doesn't have anything else, I don't think. <laughs> Uh, All right, guys, let's be Gibbs and Gordies! Black Wedge, Jason Dew, murder. Pretty sure it's murder every single time. That's the case of here. Are you guys ready for your headliner? Yeah. Yeah. Are you ready for my motherfucking Hollywood? Yeah. <laughs> I thought that song was about zombies when I first heard it, and then I got depressed when I found out it was just about heroin. <laughs> I'm halfway there. Y'all looking at me like, man, it's when did the kid from Twilight start doing comedy? I fucking hate that that joke works so well. Dudes, uh, how do you kill a black Dracula? The same way you kill a fucking white one. You egregious racist. <laughs> You can, I know a lot of you are sitting there and you're thinking to yourself, you're like, man, well, like, why not like, burn a cross in Islam? That'll get rid of the black Dracula. I'm like, dude, that works on all Draculas. <laughs> White or black. Black Dracula just reads it on a few different levels. <laughs> <laughs> you can actually burn a cross, I think, in anybody's lawn. And it'll piss them off the same way. <laughs> like, I can pick, like, the head dragon or wizard or whatever Dungeons and Dragons name, like the KKK. And burn a cross in their lawn, and even they're not gonna come out and act all impressed. I'm like, oh, the craftsmanship. No, they're gonna be just as pissed. I'm like, dude, this is gonna leave a fucking dead patch. My kids gotta go to school tomorrow. I hung out. Dude, racism is funny, man. Like, I hung out with this dude. They're any kind of like ism. It's weird. I hang out with this dude who like would not listen to any music or look at any art or anything that had anything to do with homo homosexuality. Dude. Like he didn't like David Bowie. He didn't like you know the lead singer of Queen. He didn't like anything. Dude, I'm like dude, you're ruling out like a lot of shit in your life. Like dude, even fucking Jew haters love Star Wars. <laughs> you can't. I mean, you can't do that shit. Holy fuck. Hey, how do you kill a black Frankenstein? Reaganomics. <laughs> you can't build a Frankenstein in a trickle-down economy. <laughs> it's fucking impossible. <laughs> My girlfriend thinks our house is haunted <laughs> by the ghost of her dead grandmother. <laughs> because, here's why, she's got his very valid proof. Because sometimes the remote goes missing and it will mysteriously come back. And that's it. That's the extent of my power. Doesn't want me to watch freaking Master Chef Junior. Sometimes they catch. It's crazy, dude. And then they, if anything, it just kind of pisses me off because I watch these ghost hunter shows and get all psyched up. I'm like, they're going to see some shit. They're going to see the walls bleed. And, Fucking rock stars are gonna want to buy this house later. Just so show it off to their friends. It's like, no, it's never like that. They, they're just in there. They, they bring out a camera and like night vision goggles. And I was always thought, I thought like hunting and any other profession other than ghosts always kind of infers that you're catching something. But not these ghost hunters. They just go in like, well, we're recording and stuff. We'll go in and we'll. Lay out some cameras and we'll check for some EVPs. But if it starts hiding the fucking remote and shit, you're a hit, dude. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm like, dude, your house isn't haunted unless you got like eggs cracking and frying themselves and zool up in your fucking fridge. <laughs> then your house is haunted. Get a drink one. That'll solve all my problems. 
No, I don't. I just don't believe them. I mean, ghosts are kind of, you know, they're kind of bullshit. But I think like uh, I was watching this one ghost hunting special, and these dudes, these rednecks, were straight up hunting ghosts, but they were hunting with a gun. This dude came locked and loaded. I was like, dude, what the hell are you guys hunting? Are you guys hunting the ghost of Tupac? <laughs> or maybe the ghost that was in that Bone Thugs and Harmony video back in 96? <laughs> what the hell? Did... I'm starting to think you should hunt ghosts with a gun, though. I'm starting to be with these dudes, because I've been watching a lot of these bullshit YouTube videos with these little high school teenagers. They'll be watching, like, they'll be playing, like, on their Ouija board, and one of them will fake, like, they're freaking, oh, I'm getting possessed! I'm getting possessed! And if I was in that situation, I would just little stand. If I was in that situation, I would just be like, bam, bam, bam! I'm sorry, Samantha. <laughs> we don't want another Michael Myers running around. That bitch won't be hiding the remote on my watch. I can't tell you that much. She was possessed. I freed her soul. Um, yeah, fuck ghosts. And, uh... Fuck the NRA. I'll say that too. Because I already know I like guns in the terms of ghost hunting. But I'm saying fuck the NRA because every single time there's a school shooting or anything, they blame the same two things I like. You know, they could pick mental illness, they could pick anything. But they pick freaking uh, video games. Usually that are 15 years old. <laughs> and music that nobody really listens to anymore. <laughs> or music that I like. They'll be always like, uh, clearly they'll wheel out this old anti-diluvial, that means before the flood. Fuck. <laughs> and they'll say the same, like clearly this, this crime was caused by violent music like Neil Young's. <laughs> Moon or <laughs> in video games like Mortal Kombat and Pac-Man. <laughs> Pac-Man, which I'm sure is Negro slang for cohorting with white women and disobeying <laughs> your master. I know, my mom was a Pac-Woman. Shut up. <laughs> it's, yeah, in Mortal Kombat, they named Mortal Kombat actually. A game where the lamest fucking character in it has a gun. <laughs> if I was gonna ban shit, according to Mortal Kombat, it'd be Scorpion's bitch ass move. That fucking, come over here! And your friend does it like 10 times in a row. He's like, I'm a good player! I'm really good! But fucking knows his name Striker, the dude with the gun. You have to do like up, down, twice, and freaking some weird old guy with your hands. And just steal <laughs> motherfucker! I'm going with Scorpion's weapon. I was basing it on that shit. I'm like, come over here, physics teacher. Boom! Finish oh. it. And then people get on me. They're like, well, my uh, video, it is proven that video games have a, uh, they do have a, an, an influence on children. They do have an influential effect. I'm like, you know what else has an influential effect on kids? Autism and shit parenting. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> this chick even said, the girl who raised this little fucking, what's it, man? I don't know. I did a little research. But I guess she would freaking like, uh, just throw him in the basement, and every once in a while he'd run around with a knife and crap, and like just freak out and running and just lock the car doors. But like, we'll just keep him here alone for a while. And she's like, oh, I think I'll, uh, I think I'll teach him how to... Ghost! Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> I think I'll teach him how to use a gun. I think that'll teach him some responsibility. <laughs> Just toss fucking Grand Theft Auto <laughs> down in the basement. Let him play that shit. Dude, and, and anyway, it's all bullshit if video games are influential anyway. If video games are so influential, how come is it every time I play Big Buck Hunter, I don't get the sudden urge to drink a bunch of Natty Ice and go fuck my sister? <laughs> no, no, no. I like weed. Anybody else like that? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna say this for first. <laughs> I've been seeing a lot of Bigfoot. <laughs> I've been seeing a lot of UFOs and Bigfoot with my friends lately. 
I had every time, dude. I would see, I've been seeing, I've been a lot of Bigfoot signs. I've been watching Joe Rogan's fucking show. I, all the shows I watch. I haven't seen any bitch ass ghosts. But I've seen lots of UFOs and I've seen lots of Bigfoot. But it seems that they only seem to come out when I'm high off my fucking ass. And I'm most vulnerable. I'm like, listen, Bigfoot, I'm high right now on mushrooms. <laughs> Alright, a lot of people have code words for weed. They'll be like, hey, I'm gonna go burn a tree or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> the friends don't know what the fuck they're doing, really conspicuous. Like, I'm gonna go to the grocery, which is in the garage or some shit. <laughs> here's my code word for smoking weed. Every time I go to smoke weed, here's what I say I'm like, hey, I'm gonna go rape a baby. <laughs> that way. <laughs> If they catch me smoking weed, they're usually just too relieved to be judgmental. <laughs> I know. Let's relax. I don't know, man. They say weed is a gateway drug. They do. They say like it's a gateway drug. Yeah, I'm like, fuckers, if weed is a gateway drug, then I love fucking hanging out at the gate. I've never ever felt the need to go and do other drugs, walk through that gate, into the house of this hypothetical drug party, <laughs> and do anything. I've been perfectly happy there. But like still, it's just like, they call it a gateway drug. And I'm like, dude, like fucking, uh, like it's not, it's just no way. I just wanna hang out there, I wanna do what I'm doing. And then they say like weed, like freaking, uh, it gets rid of your ambition. It gets rid of your ambition. This is the criticisms. Like, it gets rid of your ambition. It gets rid of like your your willingness. It makes you lazy. It makes it. What else does it make you? Fat. fat. It makes it fat and stupid. It dress in yeah. stupid costumes. It don't win us any money. Probably hey. make a car painting. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't do anything. No, dude, it's not, dude. Dude, because I don't see a fucking, it doesn't ruin your ambition, and it doesn't ruin your freaking willingness to do shit. Because I don't see anyone making a Meth Times magazine, <laughs> getting badass heroin tattoos. Wow. They're too busy at the fucking GameStop trying to convince the dude that a weed is worth a bunch of chorboys. <laughs> I'm sorry, fuck faces. <laughs> hey, I got a great idea for a new religion. Here it is. It's a cross between radical fundamentalist Islam, where you get 32 virgins every time you suicide bomb a motherfucker, and Hinduism, where you get reincarnated. That way, every time I run my freaking plane into the Twin Towers, I can come back, do it again, and get rollover pussy. <laughs> never forget, never forget. <laughs> uh, who do you guys think is gonna win the apocalypse? <laughs> who do you think, dude? Stay in the end. Indians, did you say? Hey, no. I don't know, you're going to try. Hey, for you. No. no, fuck you. <laughs> you think it's going to be God or Satan? In the winning of the apocalypse. Who's for God? Yeah. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Who's for Satan? I'm not going to do that. <laughs> this joke got me punched once. <laughs> Okay, mate, you know what, here we go. God versus Satan, right? We're in the apocalypse. All I'm saying is God better hope it's not a battle of the bands. That's all I'm saying. Because <laughs> I don't see Christian side hug standing much of a chance with the Rolling Stones sympathy for the devil. At least in my book. <laughs> I did, I got it, the dude swung at me, he was like, fucking Strider rules, and Striper, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I blocked it, because Striper sucks. Funny, love Striper. <laughs> 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 you know, he loves Striper. <laughs> you my fucking uncle. <laughs> <laughs> it does, man. But no, man, like, I, I'm not, 
like pro Satan. <laughs> but I like there's some things that are kind of admirable. Like he doesn't make freaking shit ass excuses. <laughs> but God, like dude, seriously, man, God is so cool and kick ass. But he has the lamest fucking excuses. Like tried, like I tried it even myself. I tried using one of God's excuses. I went into work late for a straight month, and one day they pulled me aside. I'm like, Mike. You've been like two hours late for a month. What do you have to say for yourself? I'm like, well, I work in mysterious ways. <laughs> Are you lame? <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of porn now. <laughs> lately. <laughs> I've been seeing a lot of uh pop-up ads. We get these pop-up ads when I'm watching porn, dude. And they're all telling me, they're like, freaking, dude, here's the number one tip to make your penis bigger. Here's the number one tip that's going to make your dick up to ten times bigger. I'm like, dude, I already know. It's called perspective. Get closer. <laughs> My friend's uh, eight-year-old grandmother getting back to the apocalypse. <laughs> I was like, dude, uh, I'll tell you what that Obama is. I'll tell you exactly what that Barack Obama is. He's the goddamn Antichrist. That's what he is. The goddamn Antichrist. She's 80 years old saying this shit. First off, I'm like, you're 80 years old. So what if he's a fucking Antichrist? You're gonna be dead, and your iron lungs gonna give out before the whore of Babylon rises from the ocean anyway. It doesn't matter who the fuck I vote for. You shouldn't give a shit about what I'm spitting on. <laughs> it shouldn't matter who you vote for, dude. It doesn't. That's it, hello. <laughs> no, unless they're passing like, it doesn't matter who you're voting for, unless they're passing legislation that like allows like robots to eat old people, and they're calling it like right to robots for, to eat old people a lot, because that's how they do shit nowadays. They're just so right in front of whatever they're gonna do to rape you. <laughs> but right to fucking work. Freedom from information. <laughs> no, it's all working. I'm going for this fucker. I talked into my beer like it was a mic. <laughs> I get it, man. I can hear you. <laughs> I am. I'm a good boy. I don't know, man. I was, uh, I was thinking of voting for Ron Paul. Politically. <laughs> because fucking, uh, there's some things I, I don't agree with everything, but I agree with some things. Like, uh, He's uh, pro weed, so I'm I'm for that. I'm pro pot, legalize that shit. Woo! I'm like, woo, right on. But he's anti-abortion. He's anti-choice people. But at least he's pro gun, because that way, in 18 years, when your illegitimate child tries to mug me for weed, I'll be allowed to shoot him in the face. <laughs> I don't know, man. To me, like, I don't know, like I joke about abortion, but I have like a large family. Like I have a lot of siblings. So to me, abortion just means bigger Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> and guess who doesn't have to share Castle Grayskull? Oh, <laughs> uh, no co-op on this SNES. <laughs> You know who my favorite lady at the abortion rallies are? Or is? <laughs> my grammar's going down the hill. You know who my favorite lady at the abortion rallies is? The lady who's always like, hey, it's a child, not a choice. Or you made your choice when you spread your legs. You ever think of like the poor bastard who has to have sex with this woman? It's <laughs> like, uh, before you uh, get any of this, I just want you to know it's a child, not a choice. I'm like, man, relax. It's your chin, not your gash. <laughs> I'm gonna pull out on this one. I'm also against abortion because I used to substitute teach your hyper ass fucking kids. 
And I got a question for all you dads out there who have hyper ass kids. <laughs> Did you actually have sex to conceive your children? Or did you just sort of jack off and do a can of Red Bull and sort of shove it up her pussy? <laughs> See what will happen. I don't know, man. But I do got a solution. I got a solution to the whole pro-life, pro-choice debate. I'm going to tell you it all. And you can spread it on Facebook. We're going to get it done. Because that's all I know how to spread shit. It's on Facebook. Here's how we're going to do it, man. First off, I get both angles, man. I get that the pro-life people are like, hey, the pro-life people understand it. We can't just be like aborting babies, giving birth, and just throwing them in a big ass pile like it's fucking 300 when they're defective and shit. <laughs> <laughs> we can't do that, dude. And then pro-choice, pro-abortion people, right? We can't fucking, well that's what I was talking to you first, wasn't it? Fuck you. <laughs> Alright, let's go, Stanley. Let me just tell you the fucking solution. <laughs> Here's the solution to the whole problem right here. You want an abortion, you get preggers, right? You get all knocked up or you knock someone up, right? You don't want an abortion, but you don't want to carry out this responsibility. You don't want to be punished for your success. <laughs> All right? As Wall Street would say. Here's what you do. We don't abort the baby, but we don't carry it out to birth either. What we do is we put that little egg, fertilized egg on ice, right? And then we wait like 100, 200 years, right? And we open a store in 200 years that sells all the fertilized eggs to parents that want children. We, we have all the babies. We have, we have like black babies, Mexican babies, mixed babies, white, whatever baby you want. But I know what you're saying. Like, hey Mike, what about all the little babies conceived of rape? Nobody wants those babies. And I got your answer. Bargain bin, brother. <laughs> and you're gonna want a child conceived of rape doing your chores, let me tell you. It's like they don't know how to say stop. <laughs> How do you kill a black dragon? <laughs> that's it, dude. That's my time. I'm Mike Hunter. <laughs> Thanks a lot for coming out. You guys are fucking awesome. Give it up one more time for Mike Hunter, everybody. <laughs> Thank you for coming and supporting live comedy. We could not do this without each and every one of you. You can like us on Facebook. You can follow us on Twitter. This weekend we have a great uh, headliner, and his name is Kenny DeForest. Ooh. So we got a show Friday, was it 8 o'clock? 9. 9 o'clock, Saturday, 8 and 10, yeah. show, right? Also this Tuesday we have career ending comedy. If you like shot comedy like most of us assholes do, <laughs> you, you, you really want to come check that out. Give yourselves a round of applause. Woo! You guys are a very fun audience. Woo! We have the time of our lives. Thank you. Have a good evening. All right.